Everyone knows that Draw.io is the app to use for diagrams and tables within Confluence, but that doesn't mean our whiteboards don't offer the same capabilities. Hi, it's Emily from Team Draw.io, and today we're going to take a look at our tables feature within our boards editor. Draw.io offers a variety of unique features and tools that make it the best choice when deciding how to add tables to your Confluence pages. Some of the features we offer that Confluence's table feature doesn't includes table color customization, individual cell resize capabilities, custom row and column lines, and the ability to include elements within the table, like shapes and images. We're working within the boards editor today. Add a table to the center of your board by navigating over to the simple menu and clicking the plus sign. Hover your mouse down and to the right until you have all the columns and rows you need. Then click. To add a table with a title row at the top, simply select the box next to title before you create your table. You can resize the title row by dragging the yellow diamond. Add text anywhere in the table by double clicking inside a cell and typing. Don't forget to customize your text under the text tab to the right, or you can double click to access the advanced text options. To add a header column, select any cell in the table, then click again to select the entire row. This causes a yellow diamond to appear at the leftmost side of the table, which you can then drag to the right, creating your header column. Resize the entire table by dragging the blue dots inward or outward. By default, the rows and columns will scale with it, but to disable this, scroll down under the property dropdown and select fixed rows. Don't forget to consider these options as well when resizing your table. While we're here, if you ever want to hide your row or column lines, simply deselect these boxes here. Each individual cell still remains, even though the lines may be gone now. Merge as many cells as you need by clicking the starting cell, holding shift, and clicking where the merge will end. Then under the arrange tab, you'll find the merge button. If you have text in all cells you merge, no worries as the merge cell will now only hold the text of the top left starting cell. Keep in mind the merge button is only visible when you have two or more individual cells selected at once. And last, if you look in the same table subgroup, you can see the options to add and delete rows and columns from your table. Nice work. You're now on your way to creating tables inside Confluence like a pro. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe so you'll never miss out on our latest expert diagramming tips and tutorials. We'll see you next time.